Thank you for the 10 months, bro. Okay. Genji on the fence. RQ on attack. Single limb. Genji. Elimination. Double Such Sheriff. 63% win rate. <laughs> win rate. It's like one of the highest we've ever seen, really. And I'm telling you, it's because a little bit some of the opponents in Pacific sometimes easier. But I'm telling you, it's a lot down to the fact that the amount of times that they are old teams into like the double sheriff as well is outrageous. But favoring a little bit more close quarters combat. But RQ is just going to favor the C site. I mean, this we're going right back to last year's RQ. They loved hitting that C site. They love that they they have a great idea of how to break. Oh, we're actually back. going for this. Out. Yeah, you this know is that nice. Times it's going to be the solo hold when it comes to Meteor. So you force that fight, but do they know that Karen is already here? RQ is going to take a little bit of damage picking up the sheriff at the end. Still, though, great numbers advantage already, and with this pick, they might be able to rotate off. That said, Genji okay, so then sub one over towards here at the same time. We have a sky dog, but we have a camera that can instantly check if anyone's followed this up. Camera checks, no one followed it up. Yeah, and RQ's pulling a page out of Gen G. You have the numbers advantage. No matter what, you're still going to have a bit of an advantage. If you go as four, you still leave a lurk for extra pull potential. You still have 50 seconds okay, on the starting clock, with the A wall. You know that you the wall that I was talking about is you can so do like a wall that's like in the middle. It's like really good for retaking, and a lot of time they can't flash through anything. Shemkin finds the kill, opens things up, draws a reaction out, and RQ immediately makes the call to go back to It's been a great that round so far. Yeah, they know that because they're taken over towards C, the rotates would have shifted over and they would have tried to have had one person to hold A. So they go back, deal with the one person, read the question marks, now they just got to send it through here. Karen has Omen Flash. And that is impressive, man. That is impressive, fair play. Oh, a big miss on the assumptions here from RQ, thinking they would have faked Yeah, it, it looked like on the mini map they'd done pretty well, but then I think no sound for a little bit. Genji had a good read. Not sure if Karen spotted anyone early, but okay. No buy is far RQ to straight up sheriffs. Texture's a lot to die. That's about it. Uh, me too can die. We lose around, but if not, we want to be ready for Seasite. And the thing is, is RQ, they didn't quite weak entry. Do you know what's impressive here is what was impressive is uh, Karen wanting to make sure he capitalizes on the the Viper orb, getting a kill fast, and then Omen flashing. Most people would Omen flash there before. Yeah, make no mistake. This is nine games of confidence at play as well. Look at how Genji's controlling this. Yeah, but look at that Molly, man. Estrella now basically stuck inside of Garage. He's got the spike as well. RRQ, they're trying to pick up some weapons at the very least or some damage, but they're not able to do so. Uh, now it's just going to be Elmi Morgan getting down at long range. And with all the buys that we've seen here from Gen G, of course, four man buy, looking to try to snowball things forward, double Bulldog and a Guardian. Amongst that purchase, they should be able to close things out. Next sure he will drop the sheriff, but already damage done to Xfero, so very nice. not much of a loss. No plant given either. So Genji at the moment opting to go for. I mean, this was this was my one. You just do smoke here, wall here. I wonder if they're going to change it up at one point to do the guard one. We'll see. We've seen it a lot last year, uh, but you have to know that this composition really allows Gen G to actually not have to lean heavily into their 4-1 default. You can have your utility spread out and have very fast rotations around those links. It's going to be a lot of double teams when you're not expecting it. And we'll see if RQ picks up on that. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tough to say the least. All right, I mean, Texture. In this round, you've got Give Texture them the off-pound nice and early, so at the very least, he needs to stay alive if RQ starts to win this. Down this a long angle. The rest of RQ are going to try to break their way through the C site, but so far, it's been carried. Yeah, and, and they've done a good job to set the orb up over site. towards A, one now person holding it. Kind of it Normally, what happens You've when you go get the orb over towards long, like they've done, the is they'll use the drone kind of to clear back site. this and, and have some kind of smoke, whether it's here or wherever it's close. Take their time to find information on some of these, but they're peeking out, and Karen just shuts down Xfero. Yeah, that little peak right above yeah, the generator. Yeah, so the camera only That's gives them a little bit of info. So really They're going to want to time this smoke, you know, wait for the smoke to go down, and then send it. But... At least not just yet. 
That arrow's gonna get Illumina right away. Gem can in trouble. There's no backup for Armand yet. Cool, hey, well, just in time. If I'd been known, shut this recon with everything. Jemkin will open up the site for the rest of the team, but now it's down to a 3v3. Monyet so low, but at the same time, it's an operator for the retake. So they go for the flood. Estrella takes down Heron, who doesn't quite get the spray down. Yeah, maybe you have to stay uh, now, strong there. Maybe you have to have a bit of confidence. Just yet. Machia taking space one at a time, but Monyet is holding close. If Monyet gets one on 23 HP, he's done insane. That wild card. He needs to try to get this kill. Do they check it? He knows he's here. He hears the gun swap, and that should be the round. But Texture, gonna be calm about it. Gets the first kill. The recon's coming down, but he should... Oh, it's gonna be the shock dart. And Texture, he's gonna get the half done. Elmi Moore, he needs to get the kill. He cannot. Oh, Elmi Moore had a chance there, the man. That was a far shot from, from Texture. texture. <laughs> that was a far shot, man. We'll Gigi. give him that. He just doesn't get phased well, whatsoever. He the risk of buying the op into it pays off. And then Big 1v2. Swap back out to the operator, had enough time to quick scope in towards Elmi more. How does that happen? I mean, this is just. He goes for an extra tap and Ooh. then the further wide swing. Yeah, yeah. dude, you that extra that step he added in as well. Not one always got the shots movement. normally, but off to a rough start today. Zero kills in the first three rounds. And now RQ, they'll buy up, scrape together. Okay, they, yeah, they, they managed to, managed to get another buy out of this. They're missing a little bit, like shock darts. He is everywhere right now. Ustio, thank you so much for the raid, man. Hope stream is good. Thank you, thank you for that. Best of luck for your games as well, man. Here on Aven, single controller. I mean, sure, you have the cipher, so yeah, you have a little bit more leeway, but you're not going to be able to afford that, for the lurk either. So they're just going to turn up the tempo. They're hoping Ooh, that it's going to be a routine. Okay, this is looking a little okay. bit. After what I'm seeing here, A looks a little yet. bit weak, but they've still got three people here that want to fight. And they are here. Got no smoke, so they can just keep fighting this. Because of the angles that Munchkin and Texture are holding together. Hey, okay, okay. This is interesting over towards A. Like, especially as they're not doing the normal smoke here with the Viper. If I was RQ, I'm the coach right now. I'm calling a timeout. I'm saying that I want to end A the majority of the time until they, like, actually reinforce this a little bit. Like, the only reason they lost, in my opinion, here is because the smoke wasn't over towards Form because he's dead. You've got the toxic screen. You've got the operator now. Yeah, the way they're playing A right now. I'll be fine hitting this. They just gotta overuse you tilt to make sure this guy can't be doing that every round. That's a rough one. As soon as you lose your omen, you don't have any choices. Sure, you get the read that the operator would have left and gone for a rotate because you cut noise, but still just too many. Whoa, the spam comes through. Dude, they can't. They can't catch a break at the moment. Guys getting spammed at spawn as well. But now all the old tricks are resurfacing. Sure, it is an eco. No timeout. So I probably just didn't want to do it on the eco. As it goes on ecos, on maybe he liked that plan on the eco. Genji's thinking, all right, pretty good chance that you're gonna come to the B side, try to just flood it with close quarters weapons. So you got the nana swarm, sneak bite at the ready. I mean, triple watching mid, and then operator still holding an aggressive angle on C as well. Yeah, I mean, Genji's basically kind of they're gonna of think the dark is here, right? Here. Here. They know it's an eco round, so that's why they're feeling more confident in kind yeah, of and the fact this gets shot dodge, early and they and didn't the get to clear time, long. Yeah, you see him thinking about it. Kind of need to cage map. this or something. Keep yeah, there goes the cage. Just want to block vision if there is an op here. As we can see, op's not here, but that's where they think it is, towards long. We've got double mollies, and they should be the good mollies. That means that. That guy's dead. Yeah. Oh, and that guy. So much util, the snake bite and the yeah, I mean, no this is just lockdown at the moment. That um, and that should be the round. RQ, RQ need to. Uh, to find I'm, I'm excited for the timeout. So RQ need to realize that A's weak. Way, they will be getting their ultimates. They will have to sacrifice themselves at some point. Yeah, if you do these mollies right as well, it just hits every single corner. That's gonna be the lockdown. Once you go in, there's really not a great option except maybe I guess. Yeah, then you take the damage from the wall. Be picking one up. It's going to be Meteor who picks it up, getting one point closer to his ultimate. So in that round, I mean, Gen G, we can tell even against the Eco, they're not risking anything. Lakia, he actually sticks to the drone, make sure he eliminates it, because that masks the idea that there might be more people on A. Totally ruins any idea of rotation, and then they don't have a choice. You're either going into the operator yeah, they committed with pistols, so heavy. or you're going into a bunch of utility. Looks GG, uh, it's fine still at the moment. It has to be a good timeout. 
No timeout. Oh know, boy. Uh, maybe he was a fan of what they said. Those names, Lock, yeah, he can he can listen to the comms, so maybe he's a fan of what they said defense. and they said everything that he was gonna say. Change uh, up for Gen G. Yeah, they changed their wall and they decided to go aggro with it. Can it annihilate them, man? They had so many ults. Gen G didn't want to get exec done. This is what I'm talking about when I watched Gen G, man. They got a they got a different gear. Yeah, I, I would maybe say that RQ should have seen on the floor. Like you can see a little bit of this, right? You see it early on. There's a scene that there's a different wall here, and to expect some kind of aggro. We got operator on C. We have all the time in the world to rotate to pinch them out in the middle. Of the what a absolute and nightmare. I mean, what a solid like, shout out from uh, Gen G to go well, aggro here, though. Right around that toxic screen. I, I love to see it. Because here's the thing you're not really expecting that much aggression if the jet's going to have the operator, but you can't ever count out the omen. Caron taking the charge. They're jumping forward with the shrouded stab. Gen G in elimination. Now, yeah, they do this. Because now, not That's only the are thing. You getting red, Round to round, you this is what I said in my pickums. Well. They just have this. You have to make sure you pull Gen G off like it feels like you never see the proper Gen G in split one, split two. You only see like the proper Gen G when they get to uh, the of the Masters or uh, playoffs. Looking at how all this plays out, I mean, Gen G has been doing a, f a phenomenal job at controlling the defense on this map. They're showing that they know how to play to their strengths, right? You've got these players, you've got Karen who can play as the duel sometimes because of his incredible aim and sharp mechanics. But at the same time, even if Karen goes down, Munchkin's available as the secondary controller. And like you mentioned, they've um, got so dude, much Dude, imagine the Genji change their stuff up now when they do the smoke C, over towards here. Watching B, as well as Garage. There's so much at stake. There's so much at play. What are they going for? Oh, okay. So they've already done the aggro wall. Right and now they have this wall. Right now. And if you're RRQ after seeing that wall, you're going to start pinging and imagine they're going to go aggro. So they're faking at least pressure over towards A and they free pass and walk over towards middle. They're trying to break the camera as well. Okay, RRQ definitely talked about the fact that if they uh, if they don't have this smoke over towards A, it should be easy for them to take. Another adaptation. Four pass so and hold, though, pretty much. Of this round, as RQ are now trapped. Only one they should be forward, okay to overwhelm, just purely because of ults, but yeah, not ideal. And G have done unbelievable. Info, in info, info. Just waiting on that trip. I don't know, RQ, they kind of have to Paul drive through. They do have the a lot of... Yeah, and maybe RQ are tunnel visioning from what their uh, coach said. Karen's on the corner. He's just tucked away, waiting for them to peek out. There's the first shot. Mr. Exactly. makes it a trade. Peter just tucked away perfectly while Blocky sends out the guiding light. But look at this. Yeah, armor. this was a bit of a good example of the fact no smoke yeah, so here to block vision means you can't flood as easy. You just go into like multiple crossfires. Yeah, this was nice from RQ. And maybe I'm interested to see what Gen G do, whether they do the same wall or whether they go still the original or whether they go to the guard on the board after six rounds in a row for Gen G, good news for RQ. Uh, other than three people being alive I mean, I uh they Listen, still got so far behind you want to try to layer things as much as possible so you're not using the rolling thunder off the bat but boy oh boy did that cost you Still a round pick. Yeah, they go back to normal wall. I mean, you gotta respect it. This normal, came normal smoke, I imagine. Time out, and they had an idea, and they were going in for it. So staggering ultimates kind of works out for the time being. But now we're back to Gen G default control. Look at how they they've adjusted that toxic screen around, and at the same time, the textures had sure nothing to do for yeah, ages. Um, no and RQ should at least look at when they went over round, towards side there. There was like three, four, which normally means that you need to default heavier and actually break the kill draw. You tell. So that's stage one. At stage two, they think maybe with a shock. They're gonna oh. wait to see if they could clear it out. And texture finds the context very Oh my god. No, RQ, you're panicking. You have to move forward again. Dude, this is where they thrive. That was the nuts, chaos. man. I, I can't believe that uh, Munchkin felt comfortable trying to do all of this. Coming in from the A side. You know, texture was on the C side of the map. RQ should get another plan. 
Yeah, the jungle gym from Magnet, the way that they push into this Yeah, it's been good ever since they've done the timeout. Base and kind of flashing and making sure that our, uh, that, that Genji stays blind at RQ. They manage to take down the side. Void Texture, yeah. To a. It's going to be a tougher fight for I, Texture. I'm so interested to see if he decides to move elsewhere. With his off in his hands. Yeah, at this point, I mean, you're so far out. I mean, last round, sure, you're close enough. You try to go for a Hail Mary. And if you do get it, you know, if you are able to eliminate all their guns, you still keep their econ low. But here, just given the time, I'm sure you could buy up again, but you're just not going to want to risk it. You don't want to maybe accidentally fill up another Rolling Thunder too fast. So Texture, just going to go for the save. And I, let's say it like it is. I mean, RQ, quite frankly, they're still starting on the back foot in these two rounds. That they oh, won. yeah. I mean, it's an attack but side of map. Just barely getting into the site fast enough. Oh, well, that is. Force hitting shots through the blind. Enemy uh, just enough to make sure that they can win the chaotic trades. Uh, but they're not always going to have that leisure if they're starting with a man down. RQ has to be able to buckle down and try to find some stabilization. Yeah, Tex has had enough, man. He's had a couple of rounds over towards C where he's seen nothing, so they put him back over towards A. They're also winning a lot of the rounds where he was holding A down on his own. But at the same time, I mean, Genji's actually still doing a very good job of retrieving that information. The way that Do I like this comp in Haven? I mean, it's the guard comp. The, the only thing is it's a little bit weaker now just because of the sky, but... Um, they also, I mean, uh, they're using they're using IL default, so I would be a hypocrite if I said I didn't like him. Up now. Oh, this is, I mean, this is very aggressive from Gen G. They're saying, okay, we have A main control, we have C main control. If you come B, you're absolutely screwed. But if not, as long as we get the information nice and early, we have the oh pit, we have the lockdown, we have so many ways to delay and push you back out. Yes, there is on Okay, so this drone. Has to but clear we'll this guy off. The looks like, here's the thing, RQ has and they should double it with the stun because they know he has an off. The and they Genji's realize he has an off now. And the thing that Texture's right done though is he's Remember, held vision here the whole time. But he knows that no one actually pushed to go in into this while they pushed him off the angle. And there is a cage that's going to block vision now, so maybe he has to call a teammate over. We'll see on the mini-map. Dude, look at them. They've got three people here. They've just done so much. While they have three members stacked up towards the site. Yeah, I mean, this is a hard read. Relying on Texture's Operator, there is a recon. It does get destroyed, so no scans. Four people here. Then Paranoia as well, and then the lockdown. Oh, my God. Munchkin's Fury will be used to destroy it, but Munchkin's already here, just absolutely yeah, only they the cannot go over towards C when Texture's doing Fury this over well. towards A. And it's just disaster for RQ as the spike gets at, stranded at the entrance of the site. Nobody nearby. The guard is all here for Gen G. It's a firing squad, and I don't think there's a way out of it. Only eight seconds left, and Xfero does not find an opening. Okay, I love this from Genji. So we just have so much info still. We got the alarm bot over towards short. So Texture holding over towards A. Uh, and maybe they're pinging that he had like an alarm bot over towards long or something. That's the more common one. This alarm bot over towards short means the Texture never has to worry about over towards short. Can just hold long the whole time. Notice they haven't pushed through. The hunters weary, although it goes out at the same time. He has a turret. The, the four people are just free to hold everywhere else. Covering each other's backs. Uh, Veronica with the ten mums. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. To climb while they try to push through. And this is a result of the fact that RQ is not able to get information nice and early, right? Again, Gen G in that previous round, they keep RQ contained right up to the fifty second mark. The next time RQ gets information, they're not going to be able to get solid information on two parts of the map and then go for a double rotate. So. Gen G can then just Same story for Gen G, one person on holding over towards A again, this. just dog to clear short to, to see if they can leave the texture. They know how to play the timer to their favor and abuse Oh, he's RQ's not holding tendencies. the angle. So RQ this time. Holding the Even passive angle, maybe he's had the drone. It's gonna find a little bit, but doesn't quite spot texture. RQ, are they gonna take the risk again or will they play it safe? There it is, there's a flash, but there's the anti Ooh, the shot up. was a close one. Yeah, got a good chance now. Um, RQ still might get punished because they haven't defaulted and broken any of this. Okay, that, I mean, that's an easy call now after this. Yeah, and he doesn't have to do anything crazy. This has to hold this. Does Meteor disrespect the smoke? Oh my god. He's already on the site. They have no idea. Manya finally spots him. So there is the trade. But Karon now trying to fill it again. Genji might be coming in one by one. But Karon says, What is all we need? As he gets a triple kill on the site. But it's going to be a Okay, this is a nice round from everyone involved, really. 
on yeah. the C side and RQ. Like RQ did everything to push the op off the angles, drawn into the flash, into the kill. Then the Omen ult came in and Meteor read the situation really well that his teammate is on here and him and Karen can get a trade. Gives them that much more freedom and movement. They not only managed to take down the site, they baited out that Viper's Pit from Munchkin. And then as they pushed on through, you had that little bit of a lurk from Elmimor or Estrella in through the B site. And they just went out on these uh, these trades and duels. Rolling Thunder online again. It's just going to be a full send this time. RQ pushing the tempo up, realizing, you know, we don't want to give time for the rotation. Oh, Genji reads this very quickly, and it's going to be Texture not hit by the Rolling Thunder. Still hidden in sewers. They I just mean, Texture it should be. They all get if he gets one, he's incredible. Texture, he wants to get bailed out. They have a read on his position. He's trying his <laughs> hardest to stay alive, but there's just too many people. But the site, whose side is it on? RQ, they're flooding it. They're coming out of the smoke. That's on both sides, but now it's down to Yeah, it's a nice level one. They could do this a lot of times, I mean. But half armor, but no util on the site. Creeping up. It's a double stack. He finds a 1v1 down to 22 HP. He's cornered. Yeah, he, he didn't do too bad. He was trying to, try to delay for his team to be able to fight heavy site. Obviously, if they're hunting him with like two, they should be able to win on site. Is this full process? Maybe no scope one. Gets a reaction. And now they're ready for it, and they're not going to give him the angle this time. RQ trying their darkness to bring this to a 5-7 half. Last round and that it would be a very good off. advantage for them. If they yeah, and no up, up, right? I'm pretty sure they can't afford an up. Second half. And at the 11th round, right, almost the end hour, that's when they really switch up the pace. I mean, look at how they took down the site, how they flooded through and managed to pinch down onto Texture, really eliminating the tip of that spear from Gen G. So Ooh. looking to keep this up as they pull out the Odin and the Operator on Jemkin. Yeah, I mean, Go listen, on. Econ's a little low on the side of Gen Trying to get revenge well. for the spams, oh, and there we go. Back, but the Odin just fires too fast. Meteor pays for that risk. <laughs> the Killjoy being Dude, down. he got melted. Because already look at the start of the round. Absolutely he melted. On CMB site. He was trying to get as much information as possible. And RQ off of that early drone. And Gen G's response is tightening the map here on the A side. Jemkin right around the corner. He goes Whoa, in for the crowd. He just, he just dry swings. Um, well. I like that he the, uh, was RQ aware of this, though, right? We've had this wall twice before. Agro over towards middle, Agro over towards A. The big well. indication that they want to push somewhere. Just hovering around the A side, but he doesn't quite have much intel gathering utility. Yeah, just not just yet. Now, RQ probably wondering if it was a two-man push or not over on A, but they say at the very least, Gen G, they're probably going to hedge their bets and go towards the extremity, so they will take the risk of entering on to B site. One gone through, but Jemkin not quite spotted high above the right click. Yeah, this is a nice round. Five. And RQ after what's five is doable, but uh, if you're Gen G, you're so pumped that you got seven right now. Rounds. Um, I don't know how Genji are gonna play it because they played this. Um, they played this one a little bit different to maybe how the guard will play it. So they might play attack a little bit different as well. And with that advantage, with that confidence, taking down Gen G three times in a row, how will they fare off onto the defense? Yeah, I mean, listen, we'll see. They, they might just do like the C, C orb instead of saving the Viper orb for the after plant. Some fights and they found that confidence. However. Let's be honest, they were only in that position because they gave away so many rounds to begin with. You're starting on attack with a composition that can just break through sites, and you're still down two rounds. I, I mean, I am one of the, the biggest gods that exist, RQ, and so the G2 I'm, I'm now, basically. This. It's, you're, it's a recovery act right now for RQ, uh, but we'll see. If they can gain the momentum, maybe they can flip the tables. Have some optimism, William. <laughs> You're the one who just got out of the coma. Uh, ego uh, clips, but at I mean. the same time, yeah, yeah, you know, you talked about how this was spear versus shield, but you can really see how Gen G shield. I think Gen G is pumped going five nil seven five. Really I mean, yeah, but they probably have been once you doing good in practice on openings, this comp on this half. Okay, well they at least do the guard wall. That's when they start double vision block really over towards here and short. It's only this angle where this X is that you can see all of A main with an op. 
and it also tougher. blocks over towards B. So super strong. Once you put it up, it kind of means that you got to have two people over Benji. towards A, unless uh, someone's in this spot, they've done the X, well, and blocks right side of B if you want to hit over towards B. Uh, Genji, keep him with their double sheriff and RQ steal in it as well. default, so not looking to fight very strongly. Counting on Genji to play the map a bit, and oh, oh man! Damn, the dude, that's kind of sick. Yeah, they held for it. Man, they hit some nice shots. Up, enough, they lost the other the pistol where they were up 5v3. Sheriff and classic stacked up. Who would have oh. thought? Let's wait. So much more control now. Uh, Wheel That's FPS. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the prime. The thank you, thank you. Dark cover from Manette. Just blocks and Appreciate using the prime, man. The last second. Now, I mean, love RQ's adaptation here. Instead of saying, hey, because we have numbers, we can still hold 2-1-2, two, two, you say, let's play the numbers advantage. Let's get ready to shift faster onto B or C, just in case they rotate to B. But A, we got a tripwire. Worst case, it's a 5v3 retake on pistol. No util, really, on either side. So yeah, they had the, the uh, double firing no, squad, and now they've gone to the high lower here. Yeah. No way. He won that. Kill, and that's going to be the Q nice protection, show, but Elmi Moore is Shadow waiting. RQ, their early game. rotation is paying off. Magnet on four. A 3k in the pistol, but he's not going to give that chance. There is the flash. Lockia spotted, and Elmi Moore is waiting to receive. And there is the kill. Double okay. kills for two members Lovely. of RQ as they tighten the gap. Uh, crab now life with the prime. Round. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Next round as well. uh, Mama Benji Fishy. Good morning. Good morning. How are we done? As they anticipate the movements from Gen G in this round. I mean, the way that they were just holding out C long, I don't know. Yeah, they hit some nice shots. Uh, brilliant, you know, plays or anything, but. The shots were good. <laughs> I mean, they the hit a lot of nice shots. Round was stacked for them. B was good, and with that, they took down Genji in this pistol. It's gonna be a four-man buy. No plant. They double buy sheriff. So if Elmi Moore was to buy an outlaw into the next round, there'd be at least two people that can get one shot. Potential pistols. Genji still gonna buy up two sheriffs, so a bit of an investment. Texture already takes a hit as well. With these sheriffs, they're gonna want to find at least some value. Recon goes into A main, three so people side, dodge it on shore. Safely. And I think Gen G might just hold here to wait to see if they can get confirmation somewhere in mid if this is going to be a default hold from RQ. Because if so, they will just go for it with the numbers. With those pistols as well, I mean, they have the potential to just really push and shut it down. Nonetheless, Elmi Moore might be able to retrieve that Taking a bit of space. Anything. They've dodged uh, the all of the. So much shorter now. Now. So he pings, right now. you know, the potential. Of the hidden members, Q's aware of it. He sees two. Gem uh, they, dash out. if Not they keep hitting shots like this in this half, it's gonna be a nightmare for Jim. Elmi Moore still hidden on the site, and the smoke just to shut off sewers. Everything's been a one tap. You're oh, trying to creep through though. There's the fault line. Oh. by the fault line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, I was worried about the team stun. And with that. Some of the RQ players still wondering about the A site, but Gen G slowly They're allowed two deaths at the moment. I mean, they kind of allowed they three deaths. That fault line came from, so they bought to pinch down more with the, the idea to after shock not get eco than though. win the round after this. However, the plant will go through as Karen tries to stick it. And now yeah. a great shot from Estrella as he finds the next one. Magnet going through now. And with a spike down, Munchkin just trying to hold his best with the classic. Estrella starting to stick it all the way through. Nobody's pushing out against Munchkin just yet. So this is looking to be just a great round from RQ, keeping things flawless. Yeah, they hey, won't even give no. him one cheeky kill. There we go. One. One armory buy. I was about to say themselves. none, but... Got to think of the I mean, end at here. that point, you did have to die, right? Get those creds, the full creds going into the next round. Uh, so he won't be too upset about it. At least My you gear, hello, man. How's things? Thanks for the 17 months, man. But the movement on the here. defensive side looking a lot cleaner for RQ. But Gen G, it starts here now with the buys. He already put in some conditioning with the toxic screen over by Plum. A. That's what this default screen is for. It still gives Long, you that option. Does it matter for these guys to get armor? Well. No. The two people that bought sheriffs can't buy armor on this one. Lurks. Two members very free to lurk. Three, quite frankly, oh. if you count the omen as well. A lot of potential for Genji to play with. But so far, it has been RQ controlling the pace because of their early I'm not picks. dying there? Yeah, he planted. It doesn't matter. He would have got full money, though. even if he stayed alive. Flashes come out. They're trying to peek on over. A jump peek takes down Magnet. That is a far jump. Lockia preparing for the Olympics, it seems. <laughs> Getting distance out there, gets the kill, takes control of C main. Now you force a lot of pressure down there. RQ, they're going to say we have Cypher Util over on A. He's got the Cypher Keys. Haunted Fire, thank right you so much for on the Prime as well. as well, dude. Appreciate the support. So we'll just hope that we can delay as long as possible. The drone barely.
barely not fooling And Genji just gonna now dogging over towards A, make sure that no one's got to the main angle, holding A on their own. Not quite hearing this yet, but they're still yeah, and on the clock. they have a good idea. Cypher's over Roll towards here on A, I'm pretty sure. To say the least. What they're doing. But meanwhile, RQ working off of their own kind of reads. Maybe not quite Whoa. hearing that okay. trailblazer, so they're keeping three Mark players on the spawn. A side and just prepare to set off those trips. Ollie as well, to make sure that no one can flood out. Pushing out just yet. Genji trying to stay in the pocket. This is a little bit scary. Yeah, ready for the lurk as well. Jemkin's watching for it in mid. Meanwhile, Texture trying to keep through, but it's going to be the fault line to just delay. And Elmimor gets to take a kill with the shock dart. It's going to be a crack in the cyber cage, but our <laughs> okay. Dude, every breach done at the moment has been a team stun. With one Extra one HP. HP. Not a little bit close. But they will still get the round. Started to get a Monster. little bit hectic and chaotic as the push went through. I mean, that counter recon, the ideas from RQ were there. But with the tiny little cracks in the cages, with how Meteor was going in off of that flank, there was just too much attention being pulled away onto the A side, and they weren't quite able to find those advantageous tools when you start to section out the side. I mean, look at how the rest of uh, Gen G managed to push through Texture, finding that final uh, Steven, kill. thank you yeah, for... Not as as would have hoped, but thank you for the gifted, weapons. bro. I appreciate you doing that. Okay, big buy rounds. They get the op out, and Gen G do the classic of just going fast side. against an op. Completely left open by RRQ. Yeah, I mean, it's so a nice XD, hit. Smoke for spawn, well Molly to clear here. close. Fully intentional. Smoke w over towards no members. Just garage Gen as well. To get into the site, but Wrong. Gen G, they're ready. They're ready to meet him right at the gates. Yeah, and in theory, they can put the smoke well. up, and then he's going to have a smoke, and he could do the one way if he wanted to. Respect for RRQ going early here. They know they know this Viper smoke is going to come up. Fire back, they don't want to get Karen, locked out. But you still have to work against the smokes, and at the same time, Elmi Moore what trying to work the? out this flank. Texture just holds things down up around C Link. How does Elmi Moore make his way out of this? At this point, it has to be a save. RRQ, they lost their advantage. Gonna have to back off. Elmi Moore just making sure nobody's chasing him. Yeah, how's, te how's Texture done this one? One point away from the Seekers. I mean, this was just great from Gen G, right? It is the classic. You know they're getting an op out. You go fast, you've overwhelmed the op, or the op has to go through multiple smokes to retake. That's fine. Never give them an opportunity to get a pick, basically. If you have a good retake, that's fine. But they don't. Single limb, yeah. Single limb. Right up. They expect it to be a further back post plan, and that's where the error comes in. Because you think you're going to be able to take back sight, and then it's time there. for Elmimore to come in. You'll have a pinch, but that's a very ideal scenario. I mean, Charon, first of all, getting into the cloud burst as well. Maybe you expect one person, but Charon only draws the aggro. <laughs> then there's Texture Close, who wasn't spotted. Oh, that'll do it, man. That's so that lucky. Smoke from Charon also so lucky, so unlucky. Whatever way you look at it. So the timeout happens. Coach Ewok. I mean, sure, you know, your IGL, your team, your players, they go for a hard read, but it doesn't work out. So now he's going to reel them back in and see what else he can pull out from the playbook. There's going to be a lot that they have to pull out. I mean, the fact that this was their map pick, I know that there are several, you know, a couple more maps they could potentially play if they Apple, take down Vine, but uh, champs? a lot of... Uh, it's just what it is now. So split out really and Abyssin. To, nail everything down but so far the game plan hasn't quite worked out because of how they kind of you know underestimated or didn't quite expect gen g to play at the pace that they're playing they don't quite expect players like Karen to have the sensibility to kind of hey. hide inside of that cloud saved person. guns Karen right now has been doing so much three share some texture for example, top of it they got a bit of armor and it's about to get a little bit harder when they get uh some of these ults the into it a very good first map here for Karen. It's going to be a push out. Mixed by here from RRQ. We've got two Vandals. The Paranoia to shove out A main early. Looking for a potential trap play with the recon, but a bit. They're expecting some just kind of aggro paranoia here. Just trying to hold on um, to A main. Sure, you have mid control, but now you know. Did a great that a job. Info play over by C. And Genji's still not going to risk it because they don't actually yeah, have Yeah, stops the dog so they can't actually I mean, check that the site was clear. Doesn't really have any way to get hard you think the win percentage after timeout is a good so stat? Nah, it's purely for memes, guard. man, pretty much. Because the majority so of coaches will call a timeout in something like this, right? Long. Where they have, like, the lower, RQ, lower money. Not moving out too much. Just trying to because right here, right here, our is just going to be talking about maybe 10 seconds about what he wants to do in this round and then overall like bigger picture what they want to do in Byron's. That reflects like a 
makes an eco run. And they manage to make it work. RQ without the firepower just can't quite go in for the strongest retakes, and everything's being blocked off. The cycle of the smokes just blocks everything off even further. Yeah, oh, and the, the, the problem with Genji's RQ, comp, you have to try something, but again, the RQ, the not the actual problem with it, just more just what RQ have to do is this is called the VIP comp for a reason. Viper is the VIP, you get into a site, it's done. That is pretty much how it works because this is a perma smoke. And Texture is doing, <laughs> Texture is doing bits up close, man. It's literally the same as last time they went over towards C. Not again. Surely he gets it this time. <laughs> Every time, man. As he does eventually fall. After all that drama. But man, I mean, filling the smoke this time, and you can tell, Genji's, Genji's in RQ's head. I, I mean, just even the way. It could be a good replay here. Give me his reaction. Spy, you're alone on the site. That aftershock is not saving you. You already put the fault line down main. These are the times when we see the X factors around the world. <laughs> yeah, he just can't get the ace, man. It always happens. Always the 4K. They're playing around with RRQ. Slight bit of a morale boost with Monyet taking down Texture, but now they have to really put their foot down on the ground. LB Moore, man, oh, okay. I mean, just that's right just straight out 1v1 jewels, double. In for a pinch. They have to push through. Smokes come out, what though, a weird round. there to kind of block off the site. They're wondering if there's anyone pushing out from back site now. The flash has come through. Lakia calls it clear. Sticks the plan. They're going to push out as well. Australia, he might not be ready for this. Oh, the timing's not on that. Time, just so we can have the setup of an oh. once again, a step ahead, the drop from Xfero. Saving graces, Shepkin has to win the fight. He does in sewers, and now they spot Caron, but the Hunter's Fury used. He knows Baron's that he has the timing right now to reset. Trout yeah, big smoke. Forces him to check the smoke. He oh, knows fake Shepkin's into the into smoke. it. Trying to draw him out. There's the recon. They know he's still here. And the double care on Oh my god, dude. He was 7 HP. Any bullet. Dude, nice round from Elmy Moore as well. Like, he did insane on this, winning the double 1v1s over towards here. How did Karen almost do this? Um, the main thing that I would say is the Stradite's got to keep his gun out if he wants to do that because they got to take some map control because they don't have long. Like, you know the Genji have to be pushing somewhere. Doesn't need to get the flash out. I get that he's trying to distract for sure. But. I mean, it's so funny to see this because... This is a round where, sure, I mean, normally we'd be saying, wow, like, RQ, you did it, you clutched it Oh, up. that it second kill win, is fast, frankly, man. Like, these are rounds that Genji should have been losing after they got into the site. Oh. And they still make it this close, and then they're winning. My God, that was so, so doable. Continuing to keep the lead 10 to 8. I mean, don't let the scoreline fool you. This is RQ desperately hanging on at the ledge of the cliff. I mean, that's Genji that's the thing, right? They only they only just won the rounds, so they would get reset. So it would be all three of them that can't buy. They want to go fast in this one. Yeah, and this is the TSM. It's an absolute classic. Yeah, and in theory, they get the Viper over towards site. Karen survives as well, and he can now use the smokes. This is ridiculous, and now he's still controlling the exit around the C site. RRQ trying their darndest to try to find some frags, trying to push through. A crazy ult? Nah, it's kind of, time. it's common Genji at the moment, really. I mean, it's been common for a little bit. You ult here, here, you do dragon. some kind of push with the jet, either through the garage or through B to get into, RRQ. like, this area. In you always have some yeah, kind of angle on this. Pulls the C player over, which means that you can send it over towards C. Deja vu for you, non-stop. You're too scared to push it. You don't have the numbers advantage. And you look at the credits. It's not map point just yet. Yeah, and yet. they gotta save. Oh, go for the and save, but they gotta knows. stay alive here as well. Jemkin's not checking this side at all. Finally, he has a timing. Oh, no. That's actually deadly. Yeah, that's devastating. Another rifle dropped for RRQ. 
and Chen Ji one point away from getting oh, they got a big decision here to make. Elmimor can drop one. There's one guy that sits at 3k that can get from something. Chen Ji right now. I mean, you talk about how they are able to dash in and everything, but Karen with this one from the shadows, the way that he kind of goes in for that straight shot up against Yeah, I think they'll force into it. So much at work, so much attention and aggro <laughs> being pulled away from the site allows for the rest of the team to push through. Just masterful, Aaron, bro, he's just insane, isn't he? Right and, 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 and you can just tell the vibes are so different yes. too, right? I steps up so sure. big sure. It's, you know, two, every time in the important games. They know that the momentum has been on their side. They know they've been ahead of our Dude, I, I kept him off my top 10 you know list because he had like a, a slow win. split. You see size of relief. You see them and then in Shanghai, he just looks like the best player ever. And I'm like, well... And now they've pushed up a main. Didn't they realize that he just saves his energy right for the now. big, they big have games. The they want. You got kill trips. Two of them, but oh. Mania's dead, so the first trip's gone. Texture's gone over it as well. And he spots yeah, and he finds the second one, and this guy back aside has to kill everyone. And, and that's it. That, I mean, that should be it. They at least the killed the VIP, so the, down the retake is doable. Up, and it's deja vu all over again. He's got the blades. But unfortunately, economy not quite on RQ side, and they are staring, staring down that tunnel that is seeing its map point. The trade comes through. Elmimor manages to find first, maybe a second. Hey, Elmimor's made this doable. Right the, the fact that there's no smokes though, so they can play down to towards long. Prevent this from going to 12. Yeah. He's starting to peek out. Oh, the understanding, right? He knows that they are all around C long. Utility just to block out the cubby, but nobody's there to be found. Has to tap the spike. Yeah, so the tap, and they're going to double peek right on the four second mark. They're chilling to check as well. He does get the half, so there's one more opportunity, but they swing yeah. out. And, and they played well as well, knowing they're up against a breach, not going into cubby. As they reach map or chances. Point. It's been a it's been a masterclass man really from Genji. Karen's been Reminding unbelievable though. Like he's kings. a big reason why this has been I don't want to say easy, Watching but convincing. Truly Genji. They managed to at the very least stay on top of their throne for this map. Down to the final round. Our RQ has to go in for it. Without the best economy, that's when it really starts to sting. The one kind of saving hope, the one silver lining that they might have is that they are close to their ultimates. If Astrea can pick hey, up... How many times? He's getting the opening right kill. Ah, oh, it's now the so, so out. done. Out the yeah, it looks like we're going to bind. A map that is not played out. much in Pacific. Four rounds left in the magazine. Peaks out, but Texter just sucked everything down on for the Does he get it? And maybe even the ace. Here we go. Yeah, the big chance, the but he doesn't want to throw the round. <laughs> but he wants it. Lead, but now the real victory would be... No, it's going to be here. <laughs> the Dude, I saw his reaction so at the end again. Okay, solid game. Solid first map.